We begin today's show with the latest from Rockets training camp. As we have discussed here on the jump, James Harden back in Houston and has begun COVID testing protocols so he can eventually participate in Rockets team practice. He was, of course, absent for the start of training camp in places like Atlanta for Lil Baby's birthday party, reportedly cited around Las Vegas for his own party. I don't know. He's reported, of course, that he would like to be traded out of Houston to a, quote, contending team. Meanwhile, the Rockets have continued to make alterations to their roster. Of course, the huge trade for, with Russell Westbrook going to Washington for John Wall, adding Boogie Cousins, adding Christian Wood. And Tillman Fertitta got on CNBC yesterday, the Rockets owner, and said, we've done nothing but gotten better in the offseason. So Cheney is an H-Town native. Do you buy Fertitta's comments? Look, <laughs> that face I is amazing, probably, my as friend. I always say, <laughs> from the 281, the 713, the 832, I always am proud to be Houston Texan. Uh, but when I heard those comments, I was a little shocked just because it seems like a smoke screen. Like, there's smoke there, like, cap. Like, this is not the truth necessarily. And maybe this is what he wants us to be and say, oh, my goodness, everything's going to be all right. But when there's smoke, right, a smoke screen, there's usually a fire. And it seems like the rockets <laughs> are on fire, not the best way. Um, the way I see this really is just that you can't hide from the facts. You know, you do have someone that wants to be there in John Wall, who after injury is going to be on a mission to prove himself, especially with this contract. But overall, the Rockets, they've been moving the last few years with a walking bucket, James Harden, but they haven't been operating with the identity that they needed to find success that will keep him there, which is why he's looking elsewhere. To be fair, Rachel, that longer conversation in that interview, he says a lot of the right things about how James is com wants to win a championship and how Tillman hopes that it's going to be in Houston where they think they have a chance to do that. And that's all the good kind of cleanup talk you do. That's what you say in public. Behind closed doors, obviously, is a different story. But to say that this team got better, I mean, either you're delusional or you're just really bad at lying. Either way, that doesn't help. You don't need to go that far. He could have stopped at just, hey, we want to win a championship. James wants to win a championship. We'll get it done. But to say that out loud just indicates a, a, a complete unnecessary understanding of what's, what's happening. When you think about trading Russell Westbrook, an all-NBA player, who you gave up eight billion first round picks to get <laughs> a year later for a guy who hasn't played in two years and you got one first round pick for that in compensation. There's no way you could tell me that's an upgrade. Even if John Wall is the John Wall that we remember from two years ago, he's still not as good as Russell Westbrook is right now. Today, we haven't had you on since the trade, Wall and Westbrook. As a Houston native, how do you feel? Honestly, I'm emotionally numb. I'm rooting for John Wall. He, um, you know, as someone who has come back from injuries myself, right. I think a lot of times you have this mission to prove that you are just as good, if not better, than you were before. And I think he will have that motivation. And really, you know, given what he's give, gone through recently, uh, a fresh start is good for him. But overall, for the organization, it, a lot of the moves, I feel like we're trying to just attach ourselves to value, not necessarily a mission or an identity because like mm. for the last few years we've been centered upon analytics and shooting more threes and going in isolation but as a team sport where teams win through collaboration that's sort of where we've let the numbers do the talking instead of the players and I think that's all James has said like I want a voice in how this thing moves forward so it is frustrating frustrating to witness but I do think John Wall still provides value in the NBA. We'll see how far he defies expectation. And we'll see how long it takes him, right? We saw with Paul George, Gordon Hayward, guys who miss a significant amount of time, even if they can stay healthy through the next season when they come back, they're not quite always themselves right away. But John's had more time off than most. We'll have to see how that affects him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.